Hello, hello, dear Squarespace friends. Remember the good old days when to create any kind of interesting effect in Squarespace, we needed to use a lot of CSS, like dividers, for instance. So where we had sections, you know, we would create like curves or waves. And um, yeah, we had to use code for that, CSS usually. Well, Squarespace just launched dividers built into a Fluid Engine, and it's pretty exciting. Let me show you how this works. So this works for any section. So if you have a regular section or a gallery, for instance, if you go to the section editor, usually at the bottom of the first tab, you'll find a divider. In some cases, they call it border as well, you know, so it's the same thing. So if we click on that, you can see now we have a curved divider. This is the one you always see by default. And now we have quite a few styling options here. Um, so first of all, you can see there is a stroke, you know, between the section, uh, you know, between the sections and the divider. And you can make this um, dashed or you can turn it off. Or if you want to use the stroke, you can also change the color. This is really nice. Um, and the thickness, you know, so you can make it more narrow or you can make it really thick and you can also customize it, you know, so you can make it like really thick if you like. So that's really nice. Uh, so let's just turn it off for now. Then if you click on any anything here, you can either use the randomizer. So if you click on that, it will randomly go through various options. You know, if you just want to play around a little bit or click on the settings icon here. And then here you see all the different options that we have for dividers now. The first one is basically, you know, a straight line and here this is where we then would use a border, for instance. So now you can use a straight line with a border. Um, and then we have, you know, waves and zigzags and rounded edges. Um, really nice. And then within each of these, we have width and height settings, you know, so you can make the width smaller. That will create a more repetitive pattern. Um, or you can also change the height, you know, that will make things a little bit more shallow. And again, you can also um, customize that. Now, this one here, I find like as you move through that, that can be a little, you know, like the it doesn't always quite work, you know, that can be a little glitchy. So sometimes I just type a number in here as well. And then you just have like a subtle border. You can also flip this, you know, in this case, flip it horizontally. And then you can also offset it. And what that does is you can see it basically changes, you know, where the wave starts uh, and so on. And um, in some of the other ones, I think this one here, you also have flip options uh, that are vertical. So if we click on that, you know, it will bring it to the other edge and then we can also do it like that. So you can imagine we can just go, go crazy here now. <laughs> we have just a lot of options and, uh, but I love it. I love it. You know, I think, you know, we just have to kind of play around with it a little bit. Like always, I would say, don't go too wild. Um, so for instance, when I created uh, the other day, you know, in the middle of the night, <laughs> because I was launching, I created my sales page for my new course and I remembered, oh, we have the dividers now. So uh, that's why I was up until like, I don't know, you know, 3.30 in the morning, because in addition to creating the sales page, I also started playing around with the dividers, you know, so I used them a bit more subtly and I might still change that, you know, but this just gives you a little bit of an idea. So I only used the curved dividers here, you know, I didn't want anything like too crazy. Um, but I really love this and it actually made me also design just a little bit differently because now, you know, I have this curve here, 
So I wanted to fill this space a bit here and then offset something. This is just a little bit different to how I usually design, you know, because very often my designs are just like to be just centered and, you know, well balanced. And, um, but I actually liked how using these curves just made me think a little bit differently about, you know, how I, how I design, you know, so for consistency purposes, you know, I didn't want to use all kinds of different dividers on this page. But this just gives you like a little idea of, you know, how you can use it. Um, and I think it's just really nice. So have some fun playing around with this. And uh, if you, you know, create any uh, web pages with it that are live, feel free to leave a link in the comments. I would really love to see what people create with this. Thank you so much. And if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Thanks so much and have a great weekend.